not a choo choo. I'm a turbo. Hey, I pray to God that I turn slow. Like I'm sipping on. Aloha, YouTube. What is up? Untied Hawaii here, back again with another episode of Mail Time. Mail Time. This is gonna be the first episode of Mail Time in 2018, and I'm hoping we got a lot of good stuff in today. I believe some of this stuff is gonna be a little bit older and probably stuff you've seen already, but I wasn't about to make videos during the holidays, so. Here's where we are now. Anyway, let's get right into it. If you guys have not already though, be sure to hit that sub button down below. Hit that notification bell next to that subscribe button to join the hashtag Untied Ohana. I try to answer all your questions within like the first hour or so. So yeah, be sure to come through early and leave a comment and I'll get back to you if you guys are quick. All right, so let's just get right into this now. First box we have here, looks like it's from Net Magnetism. So if you guys don't remember Net Magnetism, I've talked about them a million times over already. They're a shop up in Canada who specializes in like raffles and stuff. So I would definitely check them out. They're a really good company. They're very like transparent with the community and stuff. So definitely worth checking out. This is actually one of their runner up prizes from, I can't remember what draw it was for. Cause, I think it was from the Cause Mickey Bear Brick draw or something like that. Anyway, they have a whole bunch of runner-up prizes. Usually the first prize is something huge. Like I said, it was a Cause Mickey Bear Brick, which is like $2,000 and up. Or you could choose the Cause Jordan 4, which you guys already know is like 1,500 bucks dead stock. Unfortunately, didn't hit that, but I did hit a runner-up prize. I think the prize just said that it was a Jordan hat or something like that. So not sure what that means, but let's take a look anyway. Like I said, Net Magnetism, great company. You guys gotta check them out. This is the hat, which is, I mean, it's pretty clean. You guys can see this, it's a good colorway. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is a specific size. Is this... The problem is, is that the size is small to medium. Dude, I have a huge head, so this is this is what we're looking at right here. How, how do I look? <laughs> so I can't fit this, unfortunately, man. Giveaway maybe, I don't know, something like that, but pretty cool, it's still something. I mean, something is definitely better than not getting the W at all. So that's that. Additionally, I did not realize that they were gonna do this, but they also sent a shirt with it. So that's pretty sick. It only said hat on there. So uh, pretty dope to get a shirt as well. This shirt looks like, you can see right there, it's like an olive color. It has a jump man going across, kind of on like this screen printing thing. And it is a size medium, so that's pretty dope. And yeah, that's just something extra. A lot of the time, net magnetism doesn't even like let you guys know what the runner-ups are gonna be, how much runner-up prizes there are gonna be. And some people take that as they're doing something shady or they're doing something like not transparent. But honestly, like they didn't even say that shirts were gonna be given, so that that's pretty cool. Like they just added that in there to you know sweeten the pot. So very sick, very dope company, man. Check them out. I'll link them in the description below. Man, I really wish I could fit that hat. Would it match your shirt? So, next one out, this box is from Adidas. You guys have seen this shoe one million times by now, so let's make it quick. It's a V2 blue tint in a size four. That is a base size. I actually hit this, I think, on adidas.com. Very lucky, it was one of, I think I got two pairs that day. This one was the second time that one of the pages like loaded for me, so it was the only size they had left. Figure pick it up anyway. Good resale value, or you could just always give it off as like a good gift to, I don't know, somebody with size four feet. So there's always that. The more I see the blue tin and every time I take it out of the box, the more I really like the colorway, guys. I'm not a big fan of Yeezys, as you guys well know, but the blue tints actually aren't that bad. Two more boxes to go. This one, you guys know, I told you guys about this tape, right? This tape means that it is from Nike. packing slip this is the first time Nike is actually like wrapped up their boxes really nice and whatnot so that's pretty dope <laughs> all right so you guys have probably seen this a couple times over now but this is the Gatorade Jordan collab that's pretty sick it says Mike with the Gatorade symbol obviously box itself is pretty cool man this is like a unique box for it so I like it this is a size 11 I got this on the sneakers app and let's take a look I haven't seen it in hand yet Oh, so underneath the box, I guess it says, be like Mike. That is pretty cool. Any extra branding is usually pretty dope. Apparently come with this towel, which is very cool. I like it. So it has a Gatorade and Jordan branding on it. Did not realize, I guess all of the Gatorade series comes with this. So that's a nice touch. I like that. Special paper as well. You can see like these little like bubbles, obviously for Gatorade, it's a beverage. 
Man, this is bright. So as you guys can see, we got the Gatorade Jordan 1. This one is in like that lemon lime. I think it had a different name, but honestly like lemon lime vibe, you know, you guys have drank Gatorade before. I feel like this one is not only the best flavor, it's like the OG flavor and whatnot. So yeah, in my opinion, this is probably gonna be the best shoe out of all of them. And I rightfully so. Gold app, StockX all have these going for more than retail while the other pairs like the Arctic Blue and like the Grape and stuff like that are still sitting on shelves. So, but it's pretty cool. I mean, the Gatorade logo is right there. It has like a very, very neon-y feel to it. Oh, this tab is like special too. It's like very solid leather, orange for the Gatorade, obviously. Also says, be like Mike, right there. So that's pretty dope. Inside the shoe, you can see that Gatorade branding as well. And then the bottom, of course, on the sole, you guys can see Gatorade as well. So overall, I think it's a pretty dope collab. Like Gatorade is obviously synonymous with sports, man. Like a lot of the big sports companies and stuff are sponsored by Gatorade. Gatorade is obviously everywhere. It's like part of sports, literally like the Gatorade dumps and stuff you see after football games. I think this collab is pretty dope. It brings together like two really iconic people in the sports world, Jordan, of course, and Gatorade. Disclaimer for all you young guys thinking that it's healthy. It's not, it's not very healthy, but I mean, it does have the electrolytes and it is pretty good i guess after you ran miles and miles playing basketball or soccer or football so there's that uh, so we finally reached this last box it is huge obviously this is not a shoe box this is a special one though and before i get more into it let me just open it up real quick and i'll show you guys what's inside as you guys know from this background up here. I'm a huge Cause fan. Cause is actually not a brand, it's an artist. You guys have seen the collection before. I've opened up stuff like this before. And obviously the Jordan 4 Cause is from Cause. So he actually just released more of his companions. And if you guys didn't see these yet, these are called the Cause Small Lies, which were up on his web store. And they were sitting for a little bit, but after like, I think four hours, they all sold out. So these ones are plays off of these companions right here. Whereas these ones have like a bent over kind of vibe, feeling sad, got that Pinocchio kind of nose, called small lie. You guys can get the reference, Pinocchio, lies, his nose grows bigger, things like that. These are pretty dope. And yeah, I got like three of them, so. This one is the all black version and the other one is like that gray version. I, I'm gonna be opening up those later. You guys will see them on the background. I'll probably take a few Instagram pics of it and stuff. Yeah, I mean, does the price justify it? It's like at the end of the day, a toy, people say. But you know, cause is meant to like be portrayed as art. So you can always compare it back. I've said this a million times. So like sneakers and stuff or like these figurines and stuff, it can be seen as like the same value as a vase or painting would be seen as where it brings attention to your room, it brings attention to your characteristics of who you are, what you like, what you don't like, things like that. In that sense, I think it is well worth it, especially since these are like considered hype beast items. So there will be resale value down the line and there will never deteriorate for less than retail. So always a good investment in my opinion. If you guys can pick these up, I would definitely pick them up. <laughs> like I said, they're sold out on cause, but you never know, they might do restocks down the line. So keep your eyes open. Anyway, that is it for this mail time this week. First mail time of 2018. Didn't have too much sneakers, I guess. We got a Yeezy, a Jordan 1, and then a bunch of hype beast kind of stuff. So ah, overall, I guess it was a pretty like balanced mail time. We're gonna be having a lot more of these in the future. Obviously gonna have the beater boxes coming in every week. So stay tuned. Well, hopefully a lot of new stuff on the channel will be coming as well in 2018. So like I said, if you guys aren't subbed, make sure you guys sub down below because we got a lot of stuff coming and I want you guys to be around to enjoy it with me. So yeah, anyway, take care, stay humble, stay safe guys. Till next time, aloha, I'll see you guys. Shoots.